Hi, right, what's going on everybody? Welcome back to the video. Um, I'm sure you guys have probably seen my couple newest videos, hopefully on the new uh, Can-Am Outlander XMR 850 2021 model with Visco 4 lock. And some of you are probably wondering, do I still have my 2003 Polaris Sportsman 500 or did I get rid of it? Well, the answer is right inside this door. There it is. <laughs> we, uh, there's no way we're getting rid of this bugger, guys. We're still keeping the Polaris. Um, this thing is a beast. I uh, got the EPI clutch kit in it. Works great. Friggin' Sedona mother-in-laws. I love these tires. Um, so far, I like the cryptids. I haven't got out to play in the mud or nothing, but I like them too. But uh, don't worry. This four-wheeler is definitely staying on the channel. Um, I'm going to have actually two four-wheelers. So if a buddy wants to go riding or my wife or anything like that, um, we can both take out both the wheelers and just kind of do comparisons or just more... <laughs> Kind of varied content for you guys um and actually today's video that i'm going to be working on to upload uh i haven't got out to ride the can-am much because honestly it's been like 27 below zero this morning when i woke up and yesterday and just brutal cold here in northern minnesota so um that's why i kind of lack of content but i do have uh I do have a bunch of parts that I just got in, so I'm going to be going over to my friend's house um, and trying to get them put on. So I'm going to put on a bunch of uh, accessories on the Can-Am, and that will be, I'll be working on that for the next couple days probably. So just bear with me until I get time to uh, edit the videos and get them uploaded for you, but that content will be coming tonight. I will edit video together for you on this guy here. Um, had it out snow plowing the other day. Got a little bit of video for you, so at least you guys will have something to watch for a little while anyway. But yeah, um, this four wheeler is staying. I also have a plow for that four wheeler coming, so I actually want to see the difference, see which one plows better, see how they plow, stuff like that. Uh, quick update on this one. So, as you guys know, I put on the light bar on uh this here just give me more light at night and i was getting a ridiculous amount of shine back from this bar right here shining back in my face um so what i did i just took some black heavy duty duct tape du duct tape fixes everything guys i put the uh, black du duct tape on here and then you can turn it on i flip it on quick you can probably see yeah you can see on the wall but now i don't get any more shine or reflection from there so works awesome guys just a little uh pro tip if you guys have anything like that going on but yeah so stay tuned enjoy the rest of the video guys thanks for watching catch you in a future episode welcome back for another day i gotta do some uh snow plowing got a little bit of fresh snow here so i got the wheeler out of the trailer um got the truck running trailer going and get this bugger fired up, let it start warming. Then uh, hook the plow up to the front of it, go plow some snow, and then uh, park this and the Can Am in the garage here. So that is what I'm working on now. Let's see if this will fire up first try here. Give me one second. All right. Pretty good. Let's see.
snow here that I'm plowing, this has been sitting there for the whole winter pretty much. And we actually got some rain on top of it. So it was cold at first and got snow and then we got rain and then we got more snow. So it's like a super heavy, dense, hard, compacted, just, it was a really nasty snow to be trying to push. Um, and you can see in the video here that the four wheelers have been kind of struggling trying to push it a little bit. So I just had to take some of the top off, push that, lower the blade a little more, push it. But uh, eventually we got her all cleaned up. So hope you guys liked the video of plowing with the Sportsman 500 there. That bugger is kind of my uh, work ATV now. The other one will be more for play, but I got to plow for that, so that'll be for work too. I'm interested to see how the Can Am does plowing. I mean, the Sportsman 500 does really good at plowing, plus it's a fun machine. So super happy I can actually have two of them. But, all right, guys, back to the video. Enjoy. Thanks for watching guys I appreciate the support hope you enjoyed the video I know it wasn't much but uh, I will get more content coming to you shortly so this is just kind of a little filler video until then so take care guys we'll see you later